The Imo State Chairman of the Task Force on Committee on the Prevention of Coronavirus, Professor Maurice Iwu, has confirmed that the state has recorded its first case of the virus death. Speaking during the weekly press briefing in Awere, the Chairman, Professor Iwu, said the casualty was a case of someone who died and later tested to be coronavirus positive. Professor Iwu said the task force will intensify sensitization campaign against the virus in Imo State. As you well know, we did uh, tell you that that the, part, that the disease may follow a pattern. That certain times you may think you are going down, suddenly there will be an upsurge. Uh, nationally, you saw the figures published by the NCDC. Uh, and then we also we are not spared in that national uh, spread. So far, the community positive uh, result we have in our state is 86. And out of the, the 86, 14 of them were new cases as of uh, 9th of uh, this month. That was uh, yesterday for yesterday. The active cases we have now are 12, 6 at the FMC, 6 at the Woody Center. The, we have uh, 2 females and 10 uh, three females and uh, nine uh, males. Contact tracing of these people are still going on. Uh, we have not yet recorded any death from uh, somebody who we identified as positive undergoing treatment and died. But on Saturday, there was a case that was a probable case somebody who died and then was tested after death to find out what he died of was of a coronavirus. The task force chairman expressed worries over non-compliance to the rules and guidelines to further contain the spread of the virus in the state. I am worried in the sense that people can be misled. And I remember I warned that that is the biggest problem in this kind of uh, uh, pandemic, that at the time people think that it is all over. That's when it is worse. Uh, all over the country, you you see the figures that they are, they, are, they are bringing out daily, and then here in the state, at least one person died, and and, uh, and the death is is confirmed that it was due to coronavirus. So there is really danger. And the three classes of people I said that we should be very careful about: one, people who are older, 65 years and above. I would suggest that if you know anybody who is that of that age. If he must go out with a, a face mask, if he must go out, if, if, if he can avoid it, let him stay home and do everything he wants to do from, from the comfort of his home. These days, uh, these are modern times. Go out, go out with a, a face mask. But my advice is that no unnecessary travels. Yes, they have lifted the travel ban, but to only be foolish for people to go on drinking, uh, going to the bar, going to visit friends, this is not the time at all. The second group are those who have some underlying ailment. It's nobody's fault that somebody is sick, but if you are sick, help yourself by not unnecessarily exposing yourself.